Hello, ya shabab. Welcome to part 14 of this tutorial series. In the last part, we fixed a mistake. Here, in, uh, here when we create the Axios uh, instance, because there is a key called base URL, URL in uppercase letters, and we have it in our constant is in, um, is in, um, how is it called? Camel case, camel case letters, yes. And yeah, and then we looked, we start the application. Here we have all tasks, we have nothing in closed task and open task is this one. And we can also view it in, for mobile devices, like for the iPhone or iPad mini, looks like this. So I'll take, let's take another phone, Pixel 7. Yes, and yeah. And in this tutorial, we want to focus on what we are going to focus on is to create a task, create task. Uh, yes, let me just close this, close it. Yes, we'll focus here on create task right now. And so let's get started in components. Let's create a new component. Let's call it task create form now we'll add a form normally if you add a form you just go on beautify go get on get clicked on get started you type form and you look through the forms and i think i have chosen one of these ones not sure what yeah i think See what's going on. Uh, okay, the site reloaded. I think I used this one. We validated, and you can go through the script. Yes, looks very much that one I have used. Uh, yes, so this looks good. I would say just copy it. I mean, just to that you can follow me. Just you go for forms, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down to V minus validate. Go for the source code. You will be on template, but we need the script. Just click on copy. And give it this, paste it. Looks good. But of course, we want a language to be TS TypeScript. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Um, we will just rename things. We will not have a description. Uh, we will not have a name. We will have a description. Description looks good. Yeah, okay. And. Yes, value length, and here we have min task description or constant. If you go here in our constants folder, we use this one, yeah, the last one. Should be at least three characters. So here we just say description. Needs to be at to be at least three characters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks good. Uh, we delete email, delete phone. Don't need them. Let the select here. We just say select. Uh, we will say select a priority. Okay, checkbox you can also remove. Okay, this looks good for now. Uh, yes, let me just. 
Okay. Wait a second. Okay. Now description. Here we say description. Here we say, of course, uh, description. Remove phone, remove email, select, stay select. And here in checkbox, we just name it is reminder set. And we will say is reminder set. We will need, I mean, the reminder can be set or it can't be, or it doesn't need to be set. So that's why we, we haven't in the validation schema, um, there is reminder set. Okay, 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 okay. Now this items, we'll rename them, of course. We will call, of course, call it priority. Priority, and then we'll just have like, we'll see, priority, the enum values, priority, dot low. Just duplicate those, remove the other ones, dot, dot, dot. That and real we will have medium of course, you will have high of course. Okay, this looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay, he will have uh, a field, a constant field for request. This will be reactive because it's an object, reactive. of type task create request. Okay. Curly braces, don't forget the semicolon. Okay, 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 okay. And you will say description colon is of course the, from our field description. value dot value this is this field here we declared here yes okay then we have is reminder set and we will take our field is reminder set is value dot value comma then we'll say is task open yes it's open because it's currently created <laughs> otherwise it wouldn't make sense then we have priority colon and you will say of course we take the select select value dot value and that looks good and the submit will do in a few minutes. Next one, we have something to emit. Emit because we want to pass the data from our from this component to the parent component. So let's say define emits semicolon at the end. Even though we will only have one emit, but let's create an array of emits again. And we say create new task. Create new task this is how this event is named okay now let's do this in here the submit semicolon at the end handle submit what are we doing we say re request from our request the description is equals to values dot description you will see what where we get this from okay semicolon again and then for request dot is reminder set it's always values always values is reminder set Let me just copy paste it in here semicolon 
and then uh, we have the request priority these are what we did before these are just the initial values and these are the values now what we are in submit the uh, overwritten values for our request so that's why we don't need task open it always stays true open for a newly created task we say values dot select and those values here will come from i show you in a second where they come from just let me just finish this emit what we are emitting create new task to our parent and we say of course the request here are the values inside and these values here they come from here from the validation schema when the user types something okay 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 i hope i did not forget anything okay next we can start to implement the template okay let's do this but we could also copy things mm, again to to the beautify side here we had the script now let's go to the template let's click on copy paste copy and we will adapt again remove this template i think you can also remove the style we will not have any style in here so let's see submit okay submit uh, prevent text field and what we have here we have not sorry wrong here we just have the description because we have no name description count to 10 i think we can leave it like how it is and here we just say again description should be fine and label is description okay should looks looks good looks good text field i mean we can use this kind of syntax okay mm -hmm. And we have a checkbox here because we need the checkbox right now. I would say the text fields here you can remove the phone and the email text fields. This one we will put up. Let's put it up. Okay. Let's do it like this. Space. Okay, here we have the checkbox. We say is reminder set yes is reminder set yes label reminder and the rest looks good for me then we have to select okay the select is good but here we have what kind of items we have we have a priority <laughs> let me just see let me just see this could be we can we could rename this not to priority to priorities okay here we have priorities to make sure this is really um you know to implicate this is a list Henry, uh, we have label priority. T. Also here, self-closing tag. Okay. Looks good. Don't know why did they. I, I a button could be a one-liner. To be honest, it doesn't need to be like this weird format but yes it is what it is okay i would put this just before the reset before the submit so the reset 
Uh, we will give it a class because the submit has a class and we will say mb minus four. The clear minus button where this come from is we have it in the settings of the SCSS file. Where it is, let's see, styles. And as you can see here, we have a button styling here. And so we can use it in other place, in a global place. Okay, handle reset, clear, looks good for me. Here we have submit button, same as before from settings, SCSS file here, because we will also use it for updating a request, submit. And that should be it, I think, yes. Okay, now we create uh, the component, task create form. And next one, we have to do the more logic stuff, the composable to create a task, to generate a task. So that's it for part 14. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. You know the drill. Leave me nice comments. And Ilale Kaya Shabab. See you soon. Guys and girls.